I'm now here on the Ghana stand with Executive Director Martin Mareku. Martin, I'd like to firstly start by asking you how important tourism is to Ghana. Tourism is really important to Ghana because it is an industry that has been identified as um, having the potential to alleviate poverty in Ghana. Again, looking at tourism, it is, it is an industry that can, you know, um, used as an impetus for the development of the country. Good. Now, can you just tell me which are the main markets that you're interested in attracting to coming to, to, to Ghana for tourism? The main markets for Ghana, first of all, the whole of Europe, but then Europe should be segmented. But we're looking at historical links, and with historical links, the United Kingdom comes to mind first. <laughs> then we're also looking at countries like Germany, again, because of historical links, the Holland, Netherlands, again, because of historical links, and France. These are the four major European countries we are targeting. And I guess probably the fact that you always have such a fantastic stand at World Travel Market is reflective of the fact that England is important to you. England is important to us. Um, we've always been at WTM and the sort of interests that you know people find in Ghana when we come to the WTM is so overwhelming that we always want to be here just to portray what Ghana has to offer. Excellent. Although I have to say that I've just noticed uh, up on your on your stand there that in fact next year is the anniversary of your 50th anniversary of independence. Are there any special plans for the celebrations? A lot of plans um, have been scheduled for the 50th anniversary, um, 50th independence anniversary. You know, we believe that the achievements, recent achievements internationally, has put Ghana on the world map. We are very high on the, on, on the world map, and therefore we want to use the independence celebrations to also, you know, project or further project Ghana. And there are a lot of activities that have been, you know, planned. Um, festivals, you know, Ghana is made of, Ghana is, the, our, our culture is our strength, and a lot of festivals have been planned. A lot of activities, you know, involving the local communities, because this is the time that we want to get the local communities involved in tourism promotion and development. If I came to Ghana for the celebrations, can you give me a description of a typical cuisine, a typical dish that I might have? I have the no idea what to expect. That I want you to enjoy when you come to Ghana. We have the kelewele. What is that? Kelewele is um, fried red plantain. Right. We have the Tuozafi, when you go up north. We have the Banku. Banku is made of hondo. We have the Fufu. Fufu is made of um, plantain or cassava, you know, put together with soup. And the soup, you can have fish, you can have snails, you can have whatever. Sounds good. Sounds right. very good. Lastly, uh, Martin, I'd like to ask you, I've heard a bit about Ghana's Joseph project, but I don't know quite what it's uh, to do with. Can you describe you know, the, the Joseph project is nothing but a project meant to attract blacks in the diaspora back to their roots. Yes, you know, um, the biblical Joseph was sold into slavery. Yes. But then when he went into slavery, his own people went back to him to solicit for help. And he gave them the help. So what we are saying is that those who were sold into slavery and the Caribbeans, we are asking them to come back to help in the development of the African continent. So, uh, you know, in, in short, this is what the Joseph Project is all about. Thank you very much indeed, Martin. Thank you for your time. It looks like everybody's having a super party on your right. stand. So right. enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thanks Thank you very much.